everybody welcome to my channel it's Eva from Bohemian crafting and all this started with this Christmas card I am really bad with making Christmas cards so I bought Christmas cards for this year to make happy my uh, postman and my neighbors and uh, in our local shop or a shop uh, shop manager you know my friends all around and I'm creating uh, cookie boxes and I will add there this Christmas card because <laughs> I was thinking they supposed to get at least something made by me not just cookies but also some kind of packaging and to add there the card this card has a really good thing on the top it does have this topper so I can make kind of like a collection the gift card and the box and how I made these boxes I'm gonna show you right now I hope you will enjoy this tutorial and maybe that will give you some idea how you can make your cards even if you are <laughs> or company for the cards uh, if you are not skilled like I am not skilled with cards so how you can make beautiful collection which will go together really well thank you so much for visiting me and enjoy this tutorial so for making that uh, Christmas cookie box, I'm going to be using this craft cardstock and ruler. The system is very easy to do. Uh, I'm going to use that ruler for folding the edges. So I'm going to slide the ruler to the edge of that paper. I have to be precise with that measurement. So to the edge and I'm going to fold that rest over the edge of that paper. gonna fold it and I'm gonna be using bone folder crisp that fold and I'm gonna fold same way all four sides always match the edge of the ruler with the edge of my paper then fold the opposite side over that ruler and then burnish with the bone folder that fold to make it nice and clear and the last one Fold over the edge and burnish with bone folder. Now I want to have this side as a top side because inside uh, it's kind of like a bluish. So from now on, I'm going to fold this edge to this fold. burnish open it and now I'm gonna fold that opposite edge to this fold to that opposite fold and because I used all around same ruler with this folding I have fold exactly same size like I do have here 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 and here I folded it here with this folding so now I'm gonna grab my scissors and cut these folds on both both long sides just straight cutting to the first fold Same I'm gonna do on that opposite side. So this will be inside of my box, this will be outside of my box. And this I wanna have like a topper. This will be like a bottom so here i'm gonna decorate it and i'm gonna decorate it these four sides as well 
So first I'm going to be using uh, washi tape like this. Then I can use some stamping. So I do have some stamping done. I used Tim Holtz stamps and here from this paper pad I'm going to grab some paper and this. This is nice. It has a does have nice design. And I'm going to cut two pieces of paper which can fit into these two uh, spots. Like this, I'm going to do again some soft stamping. So I do have my soft stamping and because I do like uh, stitching to have on my projects, I'm going to use my sewing machine and do very soft stitching all around of those two pieces. So stitching like this, I really like this stitching. It's beautiful and it's very decorative. And to match these two pieces with that background, I'm going to be using Vintage Distress Ink and distress the edges of my top cards to make them look more vintagey and match them with that background. Now I can glue these two papers right here on the front panel and uh, bottom panel. To match the box with my Christmas card, so I'm going to borrow this topper. This Christmas card has the topper, which is perfect for my box. So I will have collection of the box and Christmas card. So this will go right here, but before I will glue it down, I'm going to also attach the holder for my box. That will be this string. It's like Christmas string, red and white. I do have string so it's longer than it's my box when it's folded out on half i'm gonna grab my scissors cut the entry here to the hand of santa slide there the string santa will be somewhere here so i'm gonna manage to have that folded string long enough that it will go slightly over the edge here I think that way yes this will be just exactly and I'm gonna attach it right here with a little bit of hot glue Now I can put a hot glue on my Santa and place him on my card. I'm gonna fold this edge here and put a small amount of hot glue here where the string supposed to be. to keep the loop here on the right spot and I'm gonna move this fold this edge down and glue the string here on the bottom And now I can put my box together. So first what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold these sides. Put there a glue. And fold this to match the edges here. I'm going to put the glue here. Fold this and match the edges here. Same I'm going to do on that opposite side. Fold this, put there a glue. And match the edges here, that corner. Same on that opposite side.
and create nice corner. Now this middle parts have to be glued to the bottom so check before you will glue it down check what is your top of the box and what is the bottom of the box and then you know that these two sides have to be glued to the bottom so I'm gonna fold this put there a glue and glue it here and again I'm gonna create nice corner And I'm gonna put the glue on this opposite piece and fold it here and again create nice corner. And that way I do have done beautiful Christmas cookie box which can be open easily and close easily. And you can also use the string and tie a bow. So that is all my sharing for today. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you found some inspiration. If you do have some cards which does have toppers you can use these toppers to kind of make a combination uh, nice beautiful collection of your treat box and the wishing christmas card i wish you all very merry christmas may your days are full of joy and happiness and love keep your health strong and your mind positive i hope i will see you next time and thank you so much for visiting bye